uh, thank you for being with us here today. Yeah, no problem. So tell us a little about yourself. Well, um, it's my last year in high school. Um, play lacrosse. Um, I'm a forward. Um, not sure I'm going to go to college. I might just go to community college, but it kind of depends if I get accepted into some of the Cal States I applied to, like San Marcos. Um, not really sure what I want to do. I do want to get into um, my own business, so I might just study business. Um, I mean, what are know. your hobbies? Uh, I skate. Um, I do like to play Call of Duty on my Xbox. Uh, we're actually pretty good at that. Uh, you know, it's about it. Hang out with friends, go out from time to time, go to a party. Do you have a girlfriend? Yes, I do. She's new, new girlfriend. Tell us about her. Oh, she's great. She's very lovely and she's cool too. You know, like she has the looks, but also she has like the ability to talk to me and have fun. You know, I guess that's the one thing I love about her. She has fun with me. And uh, it's cool because I haven't really like like been jittery around, around women. And this is my third girlfriend now. And <coughs> You know, I guess I still have that sense of excitement, which is kind of embarrassing to admit. But, yeah, she's pretty cool. When did you have your first kiss? How old were you? I was my freshman year in high school. I was actually at my first party. My older brother took me to this party, and I'd never drank, I'd never smoked, never done anything. And I go up, and he's like, chug this. And then I think it was like a Coors Light, and I was like, no. I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I was against it. He's like, no, like chug it. And he was with his older friends. and. I'll admit peer pressure did get to the best of me. And so I just downed this thing and I just kept going. Like it was disgusting, but I just drank that shit. And then I was like, all right. And he's like, do it again. I'm like, no, he's like, all right, we'll take a shot. And I'm like, what? He's like, tequila. I'm like, oof. Like in my mind, I was like, that's fancy stuff. Like, that's interesting. And so he's like, all right. And also like, here's some salt and lime. I was like, what the hell do you mean salt and lime? And he was like, you gotta lick the salt, eat the lime, take the shot. And I'm like, in that order? He's like, no, you gotta lick the salt, take the shot, then eat the lime. I'm like, okay, so I bite the fucking lime, and then I take the shot, and then I lick the salt. He's like, no, you did it wrong. I'm like, I didn't even really respond to it. I was just like, oh my god, like that was disgusting. But at this time, like this is my first time drinking, so I was like, <laughs> I was feeling it. And so I go out. And, you know, I start dancing and whatnot, and, uh, you know, not a lot of people were dancing, but I was feeling it, so I was feeling the music, you know, I've always liked dancing and whatnot. And so I get on this girl, and then, like, not even, like, three minutes into the damn thing, she just pulls me aside and then plants it, and we just start making out, it was super cool. And, yeah, from then, I was just like, man, like, high school, like, oh, so beast. And then, yeah, so that was the first time I kissed somebody. It was a little not romantic, but it was sick. What kind of boyfriend do you think you are? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, I want to say I'm a good boyfriend. Uh, I like to take like care of my Do you open the woman. car door for her? Do you <laughs> surprise her with flowers or anything? Are you a I romantic? I do those flowers or, things. Or, you know, you know I, I like to be romantic. It's not really my thing, but I know she likes it. And, you know, I like to keep my woman happy, obviously. Um, but... You know, I like getting dressed up and going out places, but I guess I don't really find myself to be old enough to be doing that kind of stuff. You know, I'm still kind of young, so yeah. we think about it. Uh, what do you care about most? Probably my friends. I love my friends. Um, I'm actually pretty bummed when they leave to college because they know where they're going to go. Yeah. But right now, it's just having fun, you know, and I guess I have the most fun with my friends. So, you know, that's about it. Do you think of yourself as being a good person? I mean, I don't bully anybody, so that's good. Um, Would you intervene if you saw somebody being bullied? Probably not. No. Why not? It's not my business. Do you cry? No. I don't cry. Not ever? No. Uh, what makes you angry? Um, people, uh, annoying people, like uh, anybody, male, female, <coughs> doesn't even matter. My parents sometimes get on me, but they're actually pretty cool overall. Um, I guess getting yelled at in general, I don't respond well to that. Are you reactive, do you think? 
I, uh, in general, I mean, if somebody taunts you or something, do you react? Yeah. Well, I mean, I'm not going to let anybody mess with me. Like, <clears throat> that's not going to happen. So, but I don't really start things. So I guess, yeah, that's that's the best way to put it. Are you closer to your mother or your father? Uh, my mom, yeah. My dad's kind of a hard ass, and I kind of hate him sometimes for that. Especially when it comes to, like, lacrosse and shit in school. Uh, my mom... She's definitely more low, like laid back, and cool shit, and I guess I can just talk to her better. So yeah, I'd say my mom. What's your favorite childhood memory with your mom? <clears throat> Probably my ninth birthday, we went to, um, not Knott's Berry Farm, it was Legoland. My dad was there too, right? Um, but I guess this is just the best memory in general. But me and my mom went on that, uh, that uh, dragon roller coaster, the green one, mm -hmm. and I remember we get to the top, and my mom, she's such a nut. She fucking, we're about to go down. She literally lifts my hands, like, all the way up and out. Oh, man, I could feel it in the pit of my stomach right now. It was absolutely just terrifying, but exhilarating, and it was the best. That was probably one of, like, one of my favorite childhood memories. And uh, I don't know, like, the rest of the day was fabulous. You know, it was great. I hung out with my parents and my <clears throat> some of my friends, but... We, it was me and my mom in the front row, so like they're in the back, so it was like a moment between us. So she's pretty brave. Yeah. Oh yeah. My mom's my mom's killer, no doubt. Is there anything that you fear? <clears throat> no. No. I'd say so. And when you die, how do you want to be remembered? As a chill dude, I guess. Uh, to be more philosophical, I'd say successful person, um, one that uh, lived his life how he wanted to. I guess that's basically how everyone wants to be remembered, but uh, I don't know, someone who just lived life kind of casually, but still explored. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to put it. Okay. Well, thank you for your time today. Yeah, no problem.